So the first thing everyone notices about this boat is it's got a split back end. Looks kind of like a, a stretched Gibson Flying V or something. Uh, and that's for stability for the boat. So the wide back end makes it stable. But as you notice, the front end is much slimmer uh, from the seat forward. And that's pretty important when you get into paddle. You notice on the front end is very thin front end. Pretty high built. It's got a lot of buoyancy. But you don't hit your knuckles when you're paddling on the edge of the, of the kayak like you do on a lot of wide kayaks. So it's got a really skinny nose. Goes through the water. Cuts through really well. Uh, keeps your knuckles clear, but that back end is wide and it keeps you the stability that you're looking for. It does have a couple of nice hatches and some access. This front hatch will fit my entire fish bag. I'm not sure that's where I'm going to end up putting my fish bag, but it's, there's a lot of storage room in there. It's also got a center hatch there that you can put your keys and your wallet and maybe some lures into that are both gasketed and, and seal well. And then the tank well, nice and big tank well and it's got slots for your rods for your for your uh, paddle and things like that the one thing I did find interesting is the seat the way it hooks in sits a little bit forward from where most kayaks sit uh, you can see these back straps are kinda crisscrossed the way they're designed to be fastened in and I'm not quite sure why it's done that way uh, next time I talk to Jim the uh, the creator of this boat I'll find out what the thought was. I know there's something behind that. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see why exactly it's set up that way. But it turns out it's pretty comfortable to paddle this way. It's uh, it's set up well. Gives you some room between the back of uh, your back and the, the rods back there. Also a couple of 4 inch hatches in the back that you unscrew and can fit in. It would have to be relatively small gear you put in there. But there's a lot of room to stow things in that back end. Uh, a lot of buoyancy back here. A lot of room to put things in. The two rod holders are nice. They'll fit your tiger rod and the other uh, fat butts on the a lot of the rods that we use BTB. And then that, that tank well in the back, you could probably fit two regular milk crates back there. I put mine in between the black straps and it fit great. Obviously today it's very windy and you couldn't even hear me talking over the wind. so. We're going to get out. We're going to try to dodge the rain showers. It's clear for the moment. So we're going to get out and uh, see what we can do. Paddle it around. Put it through the paces. So having just received the boat, I haven't had a lot of time to set it up and put rod holders and extras on it. So I'm, I mounted the camera in the uh, rod holder in the back. And I'm paddling out into the wind trying to test when I let go and stop paddling in the wind what does the boat do how does it want to go drifting into the with the wind and it's really interesting this boat does something I like I, I point it into the wind and the boat is actually turning nose away so it's it's pointing to drift straight downwind and for offshore for BTB trips this is awesome uh, because when I'm drifting at the rigs I want to drift nose downwind and be able to have those drifting baits out on each side and and be able to control them. Here I'm trying scooting forward. I wanted to know on this skinny nose will it hold my fat 230 pounds and let me get up there and access the front hatch without the fear of water coming in. And this is not offshore in the big chop. This is just in the marina. Uh, but there was no feel that it was that it was going to sink any more than what it did. So. Rough chop, maybe not, but in general conditions, I think that's going to be easily accessible. I may end up putting my tackle trays or some, some other gear up there. Easy to get out your paddle, be able to get it and, and go again. The paddle holders are very similar to what I've seen on a couple of Ocean Kayak models and on the Jackson Cuda uh, to where you just lay your, lay your paddle in the slot and put the bungee over it, but it works very well. So I got about 30 minutes of testing and this nasty storm came through. It was thunder and lightning everywhere and I thought, you know, I better be smart and get out of here. I got a 30, 30 minute or so play in it and uh, that was enjoyable. So weather permitting, we'll bring the boat out tomorrow again and we'll give it another shot. We'll see, put it through the paces.